Joe Bishop. It said somebody was making their major league debut. I don't know who was, because not this guy. Oh, baby! We'll take that. Into the corner? I'm going three. I'm going three. I'm going three. I shouldn't be, but I'm going three. A leadoff triple, boys. Are you kidding me? All right, we'll take it, though. We'll take it. Oh, wait. Am I supposed to be simming and playing the later innings? Okay, maybe I'll play the first, and then we'll sim into the later innings. Maybe I just need to do a better job of jumping in and out in the later innings. Base hit. Are you kidding me? What a freak double that Vern just hit. Okay. Battled in that AB. Oh, what are you doing there, Dick? Oh, Timmy! He does it again! God, he's been so good recently. Oh, that's right. Eddie Smith was the rookie they called up that's a catcher, so he must be also a third baseman, so they're plopping him in at third. 0-2. Oh, Going to go inside. Oh, I knew it! I don't know. I just waved at it. I just waved at it. 101. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. All right, I think we're going to jump into the sim. See uh, if the if the A's can bring this back. We can go into the, we can go into the later innings. Oh, the booth with a triple and a double already. Back to back doubles, China, with a double. Don't leave him stranded out there. Three doubles in the inning. Oh baby, we take a four zero lead. They're going to leave Joe Bishop in this game. And he strikes out two with no stamina. Okay. Because that makes sense. Three back, three singles in a row. A's get one. Caught stealing. Ooh, we'll take that. Sammy Magoo. Strikes out Gina. Cohen gets a single. Steals second. Ground outs. Pinch runner. Double play. So much of that pinch runner. Double steal. Ballsy. With two down. She goes through six. I'm gonna let her. I'm gonna let her stay in. She yes. She's pitching a gem. All right. I'm I'm playing the final two innings. Second hit of the game for Vern. Actually, that might be his third. Vern is a just a machine. He's a machine. Man, it's second. Go. Really? That sounded to look at the wall, at the wall. Gone! Michael Carmichael! Is, is he the home run leader now? I think he just passed Vern. I think he just passed Vern. Welcome to the show, Eddie. Now sit the fuck down. Seven strikeout for Surfy. Yeah! Uh-oh. Uh oh, that's that's gonna be their first extra base hit of the game because Mike is the slowest motherfucker in the game, dude. Gonna crush that. 
Jesus, GGB! That's gonna drive in a run. Back to back doubles. Didn't really watch it, but. Oh, baby, into the night! Just a single shy of the cycle. The all star MVP. Boof sweat. 449. Woo! Got the run back. Me and Gina doing. Look at me and Gina are wizards. Gina's the wizard there. What the hell? You're crazy, Gina. Nice spun, dude. What the hell was that? That is a horrific bunt by Marty Ice. Fifty-seven speed, not good enough. Bang! We take game one, no problem. The A's are a poverty franchise. Steph picking up her seventh win. Joe Bishop his fourth loss. Seven to the final. But look at who your player of the game is, Boof Sweat. A single shy of the cycle. Only drove in one. Vern, three for four with three doubles in this game. Mike, a home run, two ribbies. Timmy had that solo shot. Joe gets hit around, seven hits, four earned, four innings pitched. Steph goes seven and two thirds, seven hits, seven strikeouts, only two earned. Three hit day for the booth. He scored three times, three hit day for Vern. Brothers till the end, baby. The booth's only one home run away from 20. And Mike is now your official home run leader. 33 on the year. Love it. Love that. Two a game for Barry Dingle. Nathan Messler had an RBI. So did Dick Pound. I actually don't think I've hit for the cycle yet. No. I've gotten close a few times. But no, I don't I really don't think I have. You ever wonder what boof sweat smells like? Just take a whiff of my armpit. I got you. Considering a Nintendo Switch, is the show any good on it? I mean, it depends on what you want to do. Like, if you want to play on a low difficulty, um, you know, but the issue is it's so fucking hard to track the baseball on the Switch. Um, you can't play at a higher difficulty. Like, it's it's just, it's not, it just doesn't work. Unless you're playing, I haven't tried it, like, off handheld mode, to be fair. I've never played MLB The Show, like, on the Switch with, a like, a pro controller hooked up to my TV. I've only played it in handheld mode, and it is, it is not, it is not it. I would rather, I'm not even kidding you, I would rather play on my laptop and use Xbox Cloud to play to literally play uh, MLB The Show. And I don't even, because I don't even, at that point, there's no point in even playing gameplay-wise. Like, I might as well just do simming and play franchise and just, like, sim shit and use it as a, I don't know, just a simulation game. Literally no gameplay. That's true. I guess you could play on timing, but if you're trying to use PCI as your hitting style, I wouldn't even do it. Or, like, pinpoint for pitching, I wouldn't do that either. So there's probably ways to do it. But it's it's not the best on the Switch. So and I haven't I haven't even played this year's game on the Switch. I played last year's game and it was rough. So I really was like, oh yeah, MLB on the go, cross progression. Like, like why not? This will be awesome. No, it's it was not good. Not good. Alright, um sim through the date, right? Did we miss anything on this day? No, I think that's everything. Boom. Sim through the dates. All right, we took game one. Always like starting off a series with a dub ski. You know? We've won the first game of uh, the last three series that we've started. Miami, man. I can't believe Miami took two out of three against us. That's crazy. That's crazy. We didn't even sweep Toronto. We swept the Mets, though. That was easy. We got swept by the Rockies. That's right, dude. That was a tough series. We lost the series to the White Sox. 
See what I mean? We play a good team. White Sox lost the series. Colorado lost the series. Miami, who's only two games below 500. We lost that series. I'm just beating up on bad teams, even though Toronto has a winning record. Oakland, 48-54. They're, wait, they're tied with Seattle now. You lost to Texas? Uh, I lost one game to Texas. Yeah. 7-9. All right, after beating them 8-1, 7-1. All right, you guys got one game. It happens, it's baseball. Not too early. It was the, it was the last game before the All-Star break. All right, we let you guys have it. We were already, we were on vacation that day. That's all. And you got, and we had Addy on the mound, who's not even a starter. Like, come on, we gave it to you guys. <sighs> uh, let's check out the transactions. Wait, what is this about to say? We've just sent Joe Random down to the tourists. Class A for poor performance. Okay, cool. Dude, Vern is catching up to Cohen in overall. He's now a 93. I'm pretty sure he started as an 88 or 89. I wish it showed you how much they've progressed. Plus eight power versus righties, plus seven contact versus righties. Dude, he be, dude, he is putting in the work, boys. He got to get that speed up. His speed hasn't changed. 58 speed. I mean, look at his numbers. They're ridiculous. But yeah, he is no longer the home run leader. Shri or, uh, Mike is now the home run leader at 33 home runs. He has played more games. Let's see. 381 ABs. Vern has 348. So, Vern's played in less games. Vern's played in nine less games. And he has one less home run. Cohen's only played in 90 games. And he's got up to a 94. Lupo finally went up to a 91. Shroud. Let's see. Anybody going way up? GGB, man. Plus six power versus the lefties. GGB's been kind of cheeks. 247 with a 300 on base. I just feel like he hasn't been getting any hits lately. He was going off there for a while. Timmy's been nuts. Timmy's on the up and up. 98 power versus righties. 97 power versus lefties. What the fuck? His power just keeps going up, man. He's going to be 99-99. Gorbs. I'm shocked Gorbs is getting better with the way he's been playing. He's been terrible. It's his clutch. Oh, no. His control is 69. What's his clutch at? 89? Maybe it's his control that's fucking me. I mean, his walks per nine isn't great. 2.95 ERA. 58 Ks in 42 innings. Only give it up two home runs. Yeah, control and walks per nine kind of low. That's not great. I feel like I'm not really walking a lot of people, but. <laughs> Wait, top three? Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Guys, I have the top three in the AL. Uh-oh, for home runs. Uh-oh. 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 It's rigged. Listen, man, I'm hitting them. I'm hitting them. And I got another player that's about to crack the top 10. And it's the boof. It's not even who you'd expect. I don't know how I have so many home runs in me. Oh, well, my power versus righties has gone up plus eight. So that might have something to do with it. My base running aggressiveness has gone down. I need to start stealing more. Let's see. Scott MFZB with 25. Baba Babooey, though. 29 for the Pirates. This man's a freak. Look at him. And he's a switch hitter on top of that. A switch hitter with those hitting. Look at this guy's stats. His discipline is terrible, but it doesn't matter. He's got great vision. My man be swinging. He's only struck out 60 times. 
Almost bad in a 290. This guy's a monster. An absolute monster. The fact that Cran just make baseball. Oh, he's batting a 220 with 27 home runs. That makes sense. His contact's 50s. Oh, yeah. If it wasn't for your injury, Mini, you'd be up there, too. 100%. Tearing a hamstring will, or will get, you, get you out for a while, though. Angels have won five in a row. While the Athletics have lost five in a row. Any other big winning streaks? Yankees have won four straight after they swept the Expos, who were on an eight-game losing streak. Marlins have won three in a row. Braves have won two straight. Mets on a three-game losing streak. Brewers have won two. Six, six wins in a row for the Giants, who are 9-1 and one in their last 10. The Giants have been cooking. Padres have won four in a row. Contract extensions. No players found. Oh, it's because we have 10-year contracts for everybody, right? Isn't that what we set up? I think that's what we set up. I want to see us sign this draft pick. So this guy you no know, is currently between a 71 and an 81 overall. So we have a new starting pitcher that could come in and actually do something. He's a lefty. Or no, he's, he throws right-handed. 21 years old. This is going to be one of you guys. I think I'm just going to add one of you guys to my team. Whoever's next on the list. Well, we'll see how it shakes out. It might not be next on the list. But one of you guys might be Elvis Braley and be on my team. Which would be kind of cool. I wish I could actually click on it and see everybody. But we got to wait for sign day. Signage day. Which we're about, still about a week out from when we're going to go through that. And I'm probably going to do most of that off stream. This is there's going to be a long list of players. Game two of a three game set. Coming off a good win in game one. Felt like it was pretty easy. But now we have to face Knuckler Butler who throws a Hello, knuckleball. So this is what I'm going to do. We have faced him before. We're trying to see different pitchers. So instead of playing the first three innings of this game, maybe I play the first two, Sim, and then maybe play the last two. God! I am having fun against that. Oh! And that's what happens when you throw something that's not a knuckleball. Get absolutely fucked on, baby. One out double for the Boofy. For the boo 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 Okay, advance the runner, Coco Beanie. Okay. Oh, is he gonna stay in, in fair territory or in, in in the field? No! Rick Baez, 2.99 ERA. He's been pretty damn good. Eight and three. Oh no, a leadoff single because I'm missing horribly. I got I got to hit my spots. Where's my warm up? This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You got to make sure that you feel the ball cleanly. Are you kidding me? He pokes that through for back-to-back -back singles. All ready for the ace. Thank you, Dick Pound, because I left that pitch over a spot you could crush it and you you just I don't know what you're looking at. Double play gets us out of it. Double play gets us out of it. Bang! Let's go. Beautiful. Beautiful baseball. They should be pinned! Woo! The hundo mile an hour fastball for... All right, we are going to jump ahead in this one. Probably go to this, the seventh or the eighth, and it's a one, two, three inning for Knuckler again, dude. Two, zero. Thunderstrike, driving him in after the one out walk. Cool. All right, it's bat two doubles. Two for two day for the boob sweat with two doubles. Please hit him in. Back-to-back -back doubles. The father-son duo. 
Yuck the audio, dude. Uh, okay, so we got the bases loaded with one out. Please, we need this. We need this, Trevor. C can I jump into this? It's against Knuckle or Butler. Never mind. No, I'm simming, right? You guys wanted me to sim. You guys wanted me to sim. Fielder's choice. We're going to strand him. Strike out. All right. Allowed the one single. Doesn't matter. A lead up. Steal second. Stolen base. We got a runner in scoring position. Come on, Boof. Come on, Boof. Three ground outs. Mike with a leadoff single. Double. Tie game. Damn it. All right, 2-2, two, two, bottom six. I think we need a pitching change. Um, Let's bring over facing a lefty, but then th four righties in a row. The chef, the chef. Can the chief do it? Our own knuckleballer. Can he get us out of it? That is insane. All right, well, we are in quite the pickle here. It's a 2-2 tie, bottom six with one out with the bases loaded. See if we can get him with the screwball. No, what are you doing, Timmy? All right. The strikeout to end the inning. All right, but we trail by two. Oh, baby, sweet Jesus. One run game. Woo! Number 20. All right, let's see if we can get, might be able to get through this inning with Chief. Uh-oh. Oh, Trevor, please. Nope. Fuck me, dude. It's gonna tr it's gonna be a triple. Never mind. Lead off double on the first pitch because I hung it. Oh, that was so lucky. Mike, can you even catch this? Is gonna advance him to third. Two down though. Come on, dude. Oh, that was disgusting. It's a one-run game. That's a huge strikeout from Jesse. New pitcher. We're done with the night knuckleballer, but now we got to face a guy with a 2.55 ERA, Ike Stanley, who throws 102. Great. I knew it. They were going to put somebody in who could throw hard right after the knuckleballer. Whoa! Bro, that was at his head, dude. Mike would kill him. Real life, Mike would actually go and kill him. I need you to steal that bag. Let's go. That's a huge deal from Tuckbone. 25th stolen base. The tying run in scoring position. Double play scenario again, though. Great bunt. Great bunt, Shroud. Fuck me. I'm bad. I just wasted that inning. Second home run of the game for McNair. Should have been a strikeout. 114 off the bat. Good God. He smoked that. Holy shit. Thank God nobody's been on base. All right. Comes back with a strikeout. One out. Dude, I hit the dirt and just stopped. 
just didn't go anywhere. I didn't slide or nothing. And it's going to bring in another run, dude. That pitch was on the edge. And two. Dude, the A's are rolling. Honestly, I think we go Hutch. Bring in the Hutch. You've literally effed me out of this inning. God, man. GGP with a pinch hit home run. Let's go. Two run game. Oh my God, GGP, you animal, you absolute boomer. Down by two. And that's it, game, GG. No! We lose game two and the A's tie it up. I made some bad pitches. The A's made me pay for it. I missed out on some clutch situations. I spoiled that one out, two runners in scoring position situation back in the eighth. Oh, man. Knuckler Butler gets the win. Rick gets his fourth loss. And Damon Jones gets the save. Boof Sweat had a three extra base hit day, but player of the game, Mick Nair. Two solo home runs. Oh, that's rough. We only had eight hits as a team. GGB, though, with a solo shot. Pinch hit solo shot for his 17th of the year. Oh, man, that was a tough game. That one was actually just tough. Mick Nair, though, my kryptonite. Suschik had two doubles on me. Seven innings, seven hits, three earned, five Ks. Knuckler Butler. Tough. All right, we win the series in game three, hopefully. That was without their best player, too. Without two of their best players. Uh oh, dude, the A's are kind of scary. I don't like them. I don't like them. I don't want to face them anymore. Uh, Aaron Carr is no longer injured for the Orioles. Matthias Knight. Oh, shit. Matthias Knight, one of the best pitchers on the Angels, is now back from a... Pretty brutal injury. That's actually huge to the Angels, especially at this moment with, what, about two months left in the season? See if there was any other transactions with that. Joe Random. Ooh, oh, no, option to AAA. Okay, so they're making room for Matthias. Guardians have recalled Logan Burka. Guardians, Logan Burka. What position was that? 58 overall right fielder, Logan Burka. He's going to get some boosty boosts. He's a righty. Actually. Sixty-two. Let's see, a right fielder. His potential needs to be 80. Batting clutch will move up a little bit. That should be 65, right? 63 still. I'm going to make you a good little contact hitter. Why not? Sixty-five overall, eighty-four contact versus lefty, sixty-four clutch, sixty vision. Pretty solid little Logan Burka. Welcome to the Guardians, Logan. You've been called up. And then how, who else do we have? Do you upgrade all the players? I upgrade the minor leaguers when they get called up to the show. I upgrade them to sixty-five overalls, and I I put their potential up as well. That way, they're actually you know decent. They actually do something. Yankees recalled Kyle Cole. He's a catcher. Let me see. Yankees. Kyle Cole, 66. Okay, he's been called up in the past. He's batting a 291. 
in the majors. Two home runs, seven RBIs in only 26 games. Okay. Dude, look at this guy. He's a good little utility guy. He can play catcher, first, second, third, and short. Good against lefties. So he's gotten the boost in the past. Okay. Did we miss anybody else? Kyle Cole, Joe Randoms, Joe Randoms. I think that's everybody. All right. Uh, let's view today's games, and we are simming. 11-3. Uh, 11-3 Mets over the Yankees? Victor Harding, four RBIs and a home run. Austin Tatertown, four home runs and an RBI. Or, sorry, four four RBIs and a home run. All right, wait, did they, did they hit two grand slams? Potentially. Six runs in the third, four runs in the ninth. Did they actually hit two grand slams in this game? Because that's rough. Jonathan Slaughter with his third win of the season. Eli Garcia and Bull NG both went yard in this one. Oh, this hurts after them. They So if you guys missed it, the Yankees are now without their best player, probably their best player, Ariel Abramov, who was their DH. He was the starting shortstop as well for the AL. And now Hugh Erectus is filling in. Ariel Abramov is out for six months with an injury. Something Wong lost his eighth game of the year. 8-6. Toronto bounces back over Montreal. I think they got shut out in game one of the series. David Moore hit a home run. Drove in three. Ferdinand Wraithbone drops to 0-2. and two. Picks up the loss late. Four runs in the bottom of the eighth for the Jays. As they come back to win this game, Pips, solo home run. Tyler Wells had a home run. He drove in three. Mike Coxmall had a home run, drove in two. Slim Jim had two doubles and two RBIs in this game. So the bottom half of the order doing really well for the Jays. And the win goes to Tim Hart. Eventually gets his 25th save of the season. Cleveland crushes Detroit 14-2. They put up seven in the bottom of the the first tie penetrator two and nine record two thirds of an inning gave up seven on seven hits oh my god jay jetpack uh three for five with three home runs and six runs batted in gus chiggins three for five with two solo home runs rob anyone two for four with a home run and five rbis and J oh, that's insane. That's that's absurd. What a day for the Guardians. Cam Panda, seven and a third, eight hits, one earned, three strikeouts. Holy shit. The Guardians put it on him. Jetpack is juicing. Juicing. Man had himself a day. 3-2 Kansas City over the Diamondbacks. That's a big win for the Royals. Andrew Gomez picks, picking up only his fourth loss of the season. These Royals don't hit a lot of home runs. I feel like I never... I feel like there's so many games where I look at their box score and they're just not hitting home runs. Their power must be very, very weak. Magnifico Jamo is always getting triples and doubles, though. And he was 4-for-4 four four in this game, their leadoff hitter. He's batting a 351 this season. Yeah, he's been nuts. Edward Stevens gets his ninth win. Thicker Snicker, 24th save. 2-1 Minnesota over Philly. Only four hits in this game for Philadelphia. The only RBI coming off the bat of Tony Ravioli. Bing Chilling, 5-8 and eight record now after this one. Toe Mater had a solo shot. Noah O'Brien added the other RBI for the Twins. So a pretty low scoring affair. Gunter Gunterson got the win. The Angels over the Mariners, 7-1. No home runs, a whole lot of doubles. Rafita Chafita drove in three. He was four for five in this one. Lucas Jones, two for three with two runs batted in. Walked a couple times. Two for five day for Caleb Restovich. The right fielder with two runs batted in. Scored twice. He's batting a 363. And Rowan gets his 10th win of the year. Goes nine innings, seven hits, one earned, six strikeouts. Walked a couple. He's got a 2.7 ERA. Defenestrator with the only run of the game it was a solo home run in the bottom of the second for the Mariners. And Rosa Diaz 
is now 2 and 10 with a 5.3 ERA. Rosa! Figure it out. Uh, Caleb Valer with a strain pectoral is going to be out for one to two weeks. Uh, the White Sox able to win, hold on to win this game three to two over the Rangers on the road. Gus Bus had a home run. Jackie Moon with two doubles and a run scored as well. Sorry, an RBI. Christian Trent, eight and six record, gets the win despite giving up 10 hits and walking three over seven innings. But the Rangers offense just just can't get any runs together, man. Caleb Valer had to come out of this game due to the injury, but wasn't and wasn't pitching that bad. Three innings, eh, could have been better. Five hits, two earned, gets his ninth loss of the season. Really wasn't pitching that bad. Two zero, Tokyo gets shut out. Their offense either explodes or it get it's just. It implodes. There's no in-between for these Vipers. They get three singles, and that is it. Zane Stucks drops to 11-6, and six, picks up the loss. Didn't even pitch that poorly either. Matt Core had a double. C.J. Robbins drove in both runs in this one. He had one hit for the Braves, and that is enough for them to win it. Gigabyte goes nine innings, three hits, struck out four, gets his ninth win of the year. Play game shutout. 4-2 Miami over Baltimore. Baltimore's been playing really well recently. Bartolo's colonoscopy went yard. Drove in one. Couple hits for Aaron Carr and John Booth. Bubba Winchester picking up her third loss of the season. Team in Rowan. Two doubles, four RBIs. He was four for four, and he single-handedly beats the Orioles at home. Bubba Chubby, two for three. He scored twice. Mine Yasora picks up his fifth win. The mods drop to the Padres. 2-1 in extras. Ken Johnson had a home run. Do something had another RBI. Uh, the, the win goes to Trevor Rachui. Rachui. Let's see. Was it uh, do something had the RBI? Okay. One RBI. Yep. So that was the last hitter for them. Or no, he was one for five. Couldn't have been the last hitter though. Because it was at the top of the top of the tenth. Looks like he hit the go-ahead run though, or got the go-ahead run to come across. Dylan Bott, two and five record, gets the loss. Krusek with the no decision, two-hit game for Stealth. Drove in a run, the only run of the game for the mods in the loss. Five-four, Chicago over the Brewers. Mommy's disappointment. Had a home run. Drove in three. His only hit of the game. Joe Mama. Six losses on the year. Zero innings pitched. Gave up two hits and an earned run there in the ninth. And Chicago walks it off. Krangis. One for four. Three runs batted in. So it was a three-run home run in the bottom of the fourth. Uh, Drew Studd also. Did Drew Studd hit a walk-off? He was two for three. With no walks. I don't think so. Looks like Matthew Hawk hit an RBI triple to win it. Patty Panini. First win of the year for Patty. 4-2 Cardinals over Pittsburgh. Martin Chungus and Lou went yard. Chungus had three RBIs in this game, including two hits. Munch Johnson. Fourth win of the year. Aaron Magnuson, 33 saves. They put up a four spot in the top of the eight to come back and win it. Nick the Kid and Rhea Ripley had solo home runs in this game. The only runs of the game for the Pirates. Who got the loss? Lewan LeBron. Three hits, three earned. Tough. Tough outing. Come on, Lewan LeBron. 5-1 Rockies over Boston. Jonathan Ortega with a solo home run for the Red Sox. Ricky Bobby gets his ninth loss despite 10 strikeouts over five and a third. Three for four day for Glenn Humplick. Had an RBI. Chicken Little went deep. Drove in a run. Brayden Taylor and Carlos Lager had two hits. Rob Cruz with his eighth win of the season. And the Giants get shut out by the Dodgers. So a good bounce back game from the Dodgers. Three errors for the Giants. J.D. Hogbottom gets the loss. Scotty Tuhati, two doubles. T. Perk with the only RBI in this one. 1-0 one the final. 
Game three. God damn it. We better win this. We better win this. Game three of a three-game set. The third and final game of the series. The rubber match. After losing game two, we must win this. Oakland's looking for their 50th win, and we're looking for their, our 70th win. Can't believe I lost game two. We cannot lose the series against the division rival. We can't do it. Especially Oakland. I refuse. Yes, sir! Perfect swing. Good off the bat. We got good speed aboard with two down. It's all right. 34 stolen base of the year. Come on. Damn, dude. Good wood. Please. A base hit up the middle. Just a dinker. Dude, Suschek has been crushing me in this series. So many hits. Got him. Bad throw. I mean, it wasn't a bad throw, but Suschik's just too damn fast. It was on. That sucks. And that's going to poke in for an RBI single. Are you kidding me? These A's have my number, dude. That's insane. Okay. They strand him. They strand him. All right, we're gonna we're gonna jump into a little quick swim, quick swim, so we can play the later innings in this one. Hopefully, it's not a blowout by then. GGB. So his last two hits, his last two abs, a home run and a double. Maybe he needed that little time off. Will we strand him? Gina with a double, RBI for the boob sweat. <gasps> I hit a hit and run. I didn't even mean to do that, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Cohen, two run shot. A double. Oh, let's go. Run it up. Run it up. We'll take it. 4 1. Sus check with a single. Shocker. Pick off. Builder's choice. Strike out, get out of it, C's. Yes. A leadoff double for McNair. And he got out of it. Two run shot by Vernias. Six one. Trev with a steal. Sus check three for three. Oh my god. Can't get him out. Dude, steal all day on these guys. Can we get through six? Uh oh. Get out of it, C's. He does. Strands two. What an outing from CDN. Burn aboard via the air. I think. How many pitches is he at? 86? Come on, he can pitch. Four for four days, sus check. Knew it. Fielder's choice again for Thunderstrike. Dude, Suschick has been getting on and they can't bring him in. All right, top eight. This is a quick one. Meat missile, one and six record. Lead off single for Boomer. Steal second. Cali, wait, actually, we might need a pinch hitter here. He's a righty. We need a, we need a pinch hitter. Pinch hit. For Cali, let's bring in, you know what? Timmy. 
Why not? Ground out. Single for Summit. Steal second. So many stolen bases, bro. I don't know who the catcher is, but he cannot. Is it Dick Pound? What kind of arm does Dick Pound have? Gina, one for five in the leadoff spot today. Pinch hitting when you're up 6-1 is crazy. I don't even care, dude. I don't care. I'll do it. All right, C's, your day is done. You had a good outing, my friend. We're going to put Pierre in. In a five-run lead. McNair with the second hit of the game. But we get out of it. Four hit day for Cohen? No. One, two, three. All right, I think we just uh, we just keep Pierre in here. I should know that. And he drops it down the third base There it is. Damn it, dude. Should have had had I been on de bunt defense, I probably would have had it. It's a leadoff bunt single. Runner at first with no outs here. And it's back-to-back -back hits. The A's are in business. Uh oh. All right. Get the get the pen warming. Can't get the double. Got one. GGB game. Woo! We win the series. Got a little dicey. We win the series. Game two wasn't great. Game three, much better. Sim, Sim strong. Hey, this is, hey, I'm just saying. You guys want me to play the later innings? This is the possibility of what's going to happen when I Sim early. Seas moves to 11 and three. He has been unbelievable. Now, to be fair, it's not like we even beat a good team. A's are trash. They're without two of their best players. Sus chick owns me. Cohen, three for five with a home run, two RBIs, and two runs scored. Vern drove in three, had a home run as well. A two for four day for GGB as he's back in the lineup. Sus chick, four for five, only scored one run. McNair, once again, two for two, had himself a good day. Cohen, though. Woo! Cohen and Vern looking good. Vern hitting his, or now he's now tied with Mike for the league lead, 33 home runs. He's got 89 RBIs after this one. Look at the steals though. Cohen stole two bases, Summit stole two bases. Trevor and GGB also stole. Sees though, ERA under three, allowed one in seven innings. Good relief from Pierre, you know, got into a little bit of trouble there, but he made it work. War Paints, third loss. Had a had a tough one. Definitely had a tough one. Suschick needs some help. Elias 0 for 5 with a runner on four different times. That is awful. Awful. Be better, Elias. Be better. You got to be better than that when your leadoff is on board so many times. Come on, dude. Nine Ropers take the series. Was there any doubt? Was there any doubt? All right. Sim through the dates. Chained Hades back for the Expos. View today's games. A short little day of games. Not too much on the list. Let's see if there was any transactions. Any any call-ups. Um, Pied Piper from AA to AAA. Uh, Finesse BT got optioned back down to AAA to make room for Chained Hades. And that looks like it's it. Yep. And that's everything. Okay. Uh, view today's games. Montreal, Toronto, 8-7. So Toronto wins two in a row. They walk it off in the bottom of the 11th. Despite giving up 15 hits to the Expos. Huge ass, a home run, three runs batted in. Rojas and White Lightning also with a couple RBIs in this one in the loss for the Expos. The loss goes to Gamer Dude, who drops to five and five. 
Tyler Wells with a day. Three for five. A home run. Five RBIs. Had a double as well. My man had himself an absolute banger of a day. Slick ball. Moves to two and one. Artemis Chase got the no decision. 5-1 Tigers over the Guardians. Joker. Hey, wait, Joker had a home run, drove in two. Harry Kane had two solo home runs in this one. The catcher for the guard or for the Tigers. Angelo Beal also went yard. Duke Cannon picking up his second win. Felatio. Four innings, six hits, one earned, five strikeouts. What happened to Felatio? Why did they why did they pull out my why did they pull out Felatio? After only four innings. That's kind of wild. Wasn't pitching bad at all. KG Lynch with a triple and a double. Jay Jetpack had a double and an RBI. That's the only run of the game for Cleveland despite 10 hits. We're not going to talk about the Mariners getting shut out today against the Yankees in real life. Okay, let's not talk about it. 4-1 Angels winning games again. They beat Oakland. So Oakland... Loses the series to the Nine Ropers and now drops game one against the Angels. Clayton Bigsby had a home run and an RBI. The only run of the game as uh, Dick Pound got the day off in this one. Kyle the Yeti, 5-9 and nine record, 6 innings, got the loss. Hingle drove in two, had a home run in the win for the Angels. And Matthias Knight back off the IL and he pitches eight innings, six hits, one earned, seven strikeouts, picks up his seventh win and he's got a 1.66 ERA. So picking up right where he left off. Matthias Knight, that's huge for the Angels to have him back. Ryan Tini with the 31st save of the season. 4-0 Rangers shut out the White Sox. Steven Whipple had two errors at shortstop in this one. Gawan Frederick, three hits in the loss. Patricia Pianis drops to eight and seven. Chody McScrode with a home run. It was a solo shot. Golden Choke Bottom had an RBI. So four different players with RBIs in this one. Halliburton Christensen in the leadoff had two hits. Tristan Jason had two hits. And Will Betts goes all nine. Five hits, four strikeouts, a couple walks. Gets the complete game shutout against a very good White Sox offense. Oh my God, look at this game. It went into extras too. Bottom 13, Miami wins 11 to 10. Emma Wright, three home runs for the Orioles in the loss. She was five for seven with four RBIs and four runs scored, and they lose. Alex Philpot had a home run, drove in two. He had uh, he had three hits. Aaron Carr, three for six with three RBIs as well. Had a triple in this one. Oh my God, Emma Wright went off how do you lose this game cameron deuce blown save and goat zaddy drops to nine and six as a reliever nine and six as a reliever is that real goat zaddy three and a third innings got the what the hell is going on over there in baltimore i think they ran out of pitchers did they run out of relievers and have to bring in another uh, starter i think they did Four hit game for Darren Simpson. Drove in two. Balls McTessie, three for six, three runs batted in. Jay Richard, two for seven, three runs batted in. Drago Kane as well with three hits. And the Miami Marlins hold on to win this one in extras. Logan Burka picking up his second one of the year. Marcy McDingers with some lower back pain. He's going to be out for a few days for the Mets. And the Mets lose in the ninth to Atlanta. Irvin lied the leadoff hitter. Two for four with a double, a home run. Three runs batted in. He was also hit by a pitch in this one. Three for five day for Brad Rivera. Two hits from CJ Robbins and Caleb uh, Walls. Is it Walls or Wells? Walls. Tyler Nose picking up the save. Smell my bag sack. A home run and a double. He was four for four in the loss. Four three Padres. Oh my God! Look at the ninth inning for both teams. Two runs in the top of the ninth is enough as Costa Rosa mods almost come back 
They lose. Oh, no. I'm sorry. What am I talking about? The moderators walked it off. 5-4. I don't even know how to read. The mods literally walked it off with three runs in the bottom of the ninth. I totally misread that. My bad. Okay, mods. Ken Johnson, three for four, three for five. Do something, three for five. Two RBIs. Had a home run in three and two doubles. The loss goes to Roach Killer. Oh, man. The mods with a comeback win. Huge. What was it? Cam had a home run he drove in two. Was it a walk-off for Cam? No, the last the last batter was Iro. Did Iro have a wait? How did the, how does this work? Let me let me look at this. Who was the last bat? Was it Stealth? Oh, it was Stealth. Stealth had the last. Stealth had the walk off. Drove in the his only run. He had four. He batted four times and walked once. So Stealth with an RBI in the bottom of the ninth to win it for the mods. Big time. Uh, Kev, second son, gets his fifth win of the year. Canuck with the no decision. 55 clutch, got the win. And 6-5, the Dodgers bounce back after a couple losses to the Giants. They walk it off in the bottom of the ninth. Dexter Jordan had a home run. Milkman, three doubles and two RBIs in the loss for the Giants. Tristan Dell with his fourth loss. Zaddy Chuck. Three RBIs and a home run. Jordan Donger drove in two. T Perk with an RBI as well. Four for five day for Zaddy Chuck. Santa Claus, three for four in this game. He scored once. The win goes to Mr. Pretty. All right. Uh, sim through the day. Alex Morrow back from an injury for the Orioles. Nick Salomon already back for the Royals, so just a quick injury. Joe Pellerin, the leadoff batter for the Angels, is uh, off the IL now. And we are on to July 26th. Option Caleb Restovich. Didn't that guy just go off for the Angels? He did. He's He just got optioned back to AAA. That sucks. Uh, huge ankle dude. Option back. Second baseman back to AAA. Pied Piper sent, got sent back down to AA for the Mariners. And I think that's everybody. All right, we got a series against the Dodgers coming up who are 55 and 49. And then the Pirates. So two teams, two winning teams. Uh, six games above 500 and four games above 500. Let's do some quick simming here. 7-5, uh, Baltimore walks it off against San Diego. San Diego, man, really missing. Actually, their top of the order went off. They're really missing their shortstop, though. In peace, hippie. Emma Wright with another home run. That's four home runs in two games for Emma Wright. Richard Coles with a home run and three RBIs. And Baltimore is now 14 games above 500. They have been playing really well. Justin YNWA out for a few days with a bruised hand for the Red Sox. And the Red Sox able to beat the Yankees. Three to one Adam Baum picking up his 10th loss three solo home runs for Boston and that's enough for them to get the win 3-0 Montreal shut out by the Vipers Sabrina Bean goes deep I think that's her fourth home run or something in two games Finn Sweet with a double and two ribbies in this one Jay Breezy moves to 12-6. and six. He goes eight innings, gives up zero runs, eight Ks, five hits. And then Mike Hooch, he's Harry, comes in for the 14th save of the season. A struggle for the Expos' offense. They can't bring in any runs. 9-7. 14-inning win for the Rangers on the road. Two quick in bed. Four for six. Five runs batted in. He had a home run and a double, and he scored twice. Chody, two for six, two runs batted in with two runs scored. The win goes to Eric Campbell Jr. God, dude, this was a this was a marathon game.
Good God. Q Brothers, Talon Eagle, and Mike Lean all drove in, or all had home runs. They all drove in a, a couple runs as well. The Jays come up short. 8-3 Chicago over the Mariners. Curtis McCall had a two-run home run in the top of the ninth, but it just was not enough. Too little, too late. Joe Bingham. Two solo home runs. Gus Bus drove in three at a home run. Danny Lyon had a home run. Dunkey drove in two. Had a double in this one. White Sox roll. 2-1 Tigers over Minnesota. Kurgio Fish get, got his seventh loss. Three hits for Harry Butts out of the five for Minnesota. Aaron DeCroy, solo home run. Leland had the other RBI of this game. So just not a lot of offense. 5-1 Kansas City over Chicago. Marshall Rice, seventh loss of the season. Only three hits for the Cubbies in the loss. Senor Pegley goes deep. It was a solo home run. Mega Mouse and Jack Red added two RBIs of their own in this one. Lenny Lewis, 10th win of the year. And Thicker Snicker, 25th save. Oh my god, Oakland. 10-4 over the Angels. They put up 20 hits. They scored seven runs in the first two innings. The offense went off. Two hits. Five? Wait, wait, yeah. Five different players on the A's with three hits in this game. That is absurd. McNair with the only home run for the A's. But it was just an all-around team effort, man. Everybody at it. Oh, my God. They couldn't get them out. Chris Gray, two home runs, three runs batted in. I mean, yeah, how do you beat a team that has 20 hits, 10 runs scored? You, you can't. You just can't. Get that shit off my screen, October. Your team's going off. Matt Hartman with an abdominal strain. He's going to be out for a few days. And the Mets win again, 5-4. to four. Matt Core solo home run. Duncan Jones win deep twice. Drove in three in the loss for the Braves. They come up just a bit short. Pike struck out 10. Gets the loss. Pitched six innings. The Mets win it. Matt Whiteford only gets his fourth win. He's now 4-12. Four Rich Barker, two for three. Two, home, or two runs batted in, had a home run. Rich Barker needs to be the new short or the new catcher for the Mets. Sorry, Marcy. Or is it Bagsack who usually is the catcher? No, Bagsack's a first baseman. I think it's Marcy. 9-3, Guardians. Been putting up a lot of runs lately. Jay Jetpack with another multi-home run game. What in the world? Two home runs, five RBIs. Travis Matthews, a home run and three RBIs. Jay Jetpack has been going off recently. Grab Sack Turnikoff, now 11 and 2, 8 innings, 7 hits, 10 strikeouts. Reliever turned starter. Barry Buncher, home run, drove in 2. Gomib Cahale with the other RBI, and Philly just can't. They can't keep up. 9 hits, 9 runs as Sid Savage gets his third loss, 12 and 3. Damn, and that was against one of their best pitchers. 4-2 Brewers over the Miami Marlins. Bob Junkle, 4 for 5. Was unable to score or hit a run in. Drew Magoo, 3 for 3. Willard McDonald went deep, hit, uh, brought in 2. Big Smoke and Andrew James, though. They're 2... Both, they're 2... Wait, they each hit a home run, drove in 2. So, 2 two-run shots in the bottom of the 6th. That was enough for the Brewers to win. Seamus McFister clam his 35th save of the season. Ron Dogs with some elbow tightness had to come out of this game. And the mods hold on to win 10 to 9. 17 hits to 15 hits for the Cardinals. Four different home runs. Mini Magic back in the lineup and, and the mods. That might have been the difference. Three for five. Three runs batted in. Two runs scored. Had a home run. Big Daddy Dirtbag with a home run and three RBIs. Good game from the mods here. Not a lot of pitching. They give up seven runs in the bottom of the fourth. 
Oh, man. Ron had to come out of this game, and then Smoochie gave up four on three hits in two-thirds of an inning. So the win goes to Nightflyer. Dunkina, 32 saves on the year. Damn, both offenses went off. Andrew Stockhausen gets his first loss. Struck out five. Two earned and two and two-thirds. What a game. 7-5. Diamondbacks over Pittsburgh. Rhea Ripley went deep again. Drove in two. Matthew Richardson now 7-7 seven and seven on the year. Got the loss. The win goes to DJ Savage. His eighth of the season. And a two for four day for Daniel Dickerdown. He had two RBIs. Fuels the Diamondbacks. Rockies lose to the Giants. The Giants, three games below 500, but they've been playing like a like a top-tier team. Debo block, three earned on two hits, zero innings pitched. Got absolutely schlacked around in this one. Giants put up a five spot in the bottom of the seventh. Shaggy, a home run. Harley Quinn, a home run. Drove in two. Shaggy at three RBIs. Block of cheese with an RBI on the solo shot. Four for four day for Shaggy with three ribbies. Shaggy. 